How's it going? Today we're going to talk about a product that I use regularly out when I'm out kite hunting. Uh, there's so many calls out there and today I'm going to talk about my Lucky Duck Revolt call. Uh, a call that I have called in many, many coyotes with. You may have seen my review and, and thoughts on the Shockwave, my Fox Pro Shockwave already. If you haven't, make sure you go check that out. And you can you can view both. I have opinions about both. They're both really good calls, but today I want to talk about this one. I just want to say thank you for the view. Thanks for watching. 90% uh, of you guys aren't even subscribed, and a lot of you guys are just watching. So if you will do me a favor and just subscribe, I'll have more content coming out that hopefully you'll enjoy. If you like kite hunting, outdoors, fishing, anything like that, it'll it'll mean a lot if you just hit that subscribe and hit that like so we can get in those algorithms and, and help those new hunters out or experience if they, they like this stuff too. I want to just dive right into it right now. So Lucky Duck Revolt. This call has called in many, many coyotes for me. Uh, I'm going to get some close-up B-roll of this for you guys so that you can see too. Uh, it'll be an intro in the end intermittently, but this call is very crisp, very loud. Uh, I'm so impressed with it, actually. It is comparable to size. I know if you look at pictures, it may be a little bit deceiving, but it actually is a, a decent size call. Here it is next to my shockwave. If you can see the, the size comparison, it's, it's pretty much the same same size. I would say about the same weight. It comes with a, a very nice remote. I think they've updated this remote uh, with their other products, but I'm not quite sure. Sound quality, very crisp. There's been times when I don't even know if you would ever really use the loudest. The only, the only time I'd use this on the very loudest setting is out in a, a very windy day uh, in the fog where that, that noise isn't carrying very far. But on a cold, crisp morning, it's calm. I don't have that high wind and, and sound travels further. I don't even know if I would go up about half on this. But the good news is it's crisp and clear on the high end and it's very clean on the low end as well. Just all around great, great speaker on this. Some things that I didn't like were the, the buttons on the remote and some of the features. They just feel really cheap. Whew. I don't know if you can see this, but um, if you carry them in your pockets or ever, ever going to put in your pockets or in your bino harness or anything like that, you have to be careful of these buttons because they pop out very easily. Uh, the quality of the plastic doesn't feel super great. I feel like if I were to drop it, the plastic is fairly hard and it might crack. But who knows? I'm sure there's people out there who have dropped it, ran it over, or shot it. I know I've seen the Lucky Duck team shoot their call and it still works. Uh, but just, I don't know, quality overall felt a little bit cheaper than the Fox Pro. One thing that I do like about this call is this thing here. It's like my Mojo. With the Fox Pro, I have to buy a Mojo separate, and which is basically a decoy. So I have to buy the decoy separately. I gotta set that out. I've gotta have batteries for that. I've gotta set my Fox Pro out. I gotta have batteries for that. This is all one unit. This stores in here just like this. Pink. And it closes up and it comes right out, right out when you need it. It's got a magnet system here, so you put that on there. I wonder if this has batteries. Yeah, look at me. It's been a while since I've been out kite hunting. It's summertime. Remote does not have batteries, however. So, unfortunately, I can't show you right now, but I'll go find some batteries. I think there's three different speeds to this. It just kind of goes like that. So, really nice. I don't always use a decoy, but there are times when I do use a decoy. And that may be in early pup season when they're a little bit less timid, they're willing to come into a call, they're learning how to hunt. Uh, later on in the year, I don't really use a decoy that much. I don't really hunt target bobcats, so 
that's something that I, I wouldn't use a decoy for. I know a lot of people use this for bobcat. It did come with a small tripod that you can stick on the bottom. A key feature to this call is that when you put it on a tripod, the remote actually has rotation buttons on the side. And if you are out there and your call is this way, and you have two different draws to where you think the coyote may come in, you can actually angle the call on the tripod and move it where you want it to go, which is fairly nice actually. I lost my tripod, so at the moment I just put it right on top of a sagebrush and go sit down. It seems to work just fine, but it is nice to be able to move it and angle it in the direction you want. Uh, really, the only con that I did see about it is is just the quality. Like I said, I've lost the plastic thing came off pretty easy. I didn't even notice to this on and off switch. The buttons are falling off the remote. You have to be very careful. Uh, the clip on the back is broke, although mind you, I do use it very regularly. So uh, wear and tear is, is natural with any product, but all around great call if you're looking to to get into coyote hunting, the sound library on this is amazing. I actually bought this just for the sound library. The Lucky Duck team does a really, really good job with their sounds. Uh, as well as Fox Pro, but I think that Lucky Duck has, has come out with a whole new set that a lot of coyotes have never heard before, so I, I feel like it is effective. If I could make my perfect call, to be honest, I probably would have the body of my shockwave with, with the calls and the sound profile of the Lucky Duck. And if I could have the sound profile downloaded in this remote with my Fox Pro, I would probably use my Fox Pro. I would use the Lucky Duck calls a lot and the sounds um, mixed in with the Fox Pro sounds. But really, you can't, you can't beat Lucky Duck sounds. They're just awesome. High, high quality recordings, high quality output. And if you're looking to call in some dogs, this is a great call. Even if you're starting out, there's ones that are cheaper. If you're looking to get into coyote calling, Lucky Duck is a good place to start. Go check out my review on the Fox Pro. And again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like it so that we can get out there and start promoting these a little bit more. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate the view and I appreciate the time.